say we have a box over here, uh, and let's say light is originating from here, goes at a 60 degree angle, then reflects and bounces off. You know what? I'm going to make this problem more interesting. Don't like doing boring things. Let's make this 30 degrees to the horizontal, and then it bounces off there once again. So can anyone tell me, uh, I know this angle? Please, come up here, I need someone. <laughs> I can't do this just by myself. Come on guys, this isn't even university geometry, it's tr basic trigonometry. One of you, please. Anyone? <laughs> They're just looking stare. Come up here yourself. I'm just single one of you raising your hand, and that's bad, because that means you're not engaged. No, no, don't start talking. Start coming up to the board and doing the math. No one wants to do this. Not a single one of you. <laughs> Why? This is disappointing. This is disappointing. Okay. Whatever. I guess I'll have to do it myself then. Okay. This is 60. This is a right triangle. This has to be 30. So, because it reflects over here, this must also be 30. And since these two are complementary, this must be 60 degrees. Thus, this is a right angle, by the way. So, uh, what's going to happen here is, uh, okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's just do something cheeky. We know that this is 60 degrees right here. By the law of interior angles, this must also be 60. I know, that was disappointing, but it was quick. So, that means that this angle right here is 60 degrees. Okay, now can I talk to you about something known as the critical angle? Do any of you know what the critical angle is? Uh, say it louder. Guess I'm going to come over there so I can hear you guys. <laughs> okay, what did you say? One upon sine C. One upon sine C. Okay, one over sine C? I have no clue what you mean by that, but uh, you don't like. <laughs> okay, does anyone have an actual definition of what the critical angle is? And tell me it in words, not equations. Oh, you? I could put it as the angle of incidence less than the. Yeah, sorry. The angle of incidence such that the. The reflected rays on the surface. Well, I can get what you're trying to say, and it's basically correct. So the critical angle, which I'm going to represent by theta c, when an, uh, the angle of incidence theta i is greater than theta c, then theta i is going to be equal to theta r. In other words, if a right ray has an angle of incidence that's greater than theta r, so let's say theta i over here is greater than theta r, then it will just reflect instead of actually coming to the surface and refracting. So now, uh, how do we calculate theta c? Does anyone have an idea? Raise your hand. How do you guys always flop when I ask you a mathematics related question? of how to find the critical angle. Anyone? It can be wrong. I'm just looking for an answer. Say something, please. Gotta get you guys engaged. I hear some, oh no. I hear some people talking. Why don't we talk about how to find the critical angle instead of talking about whatever you're talking about. 
Oh, uh, someone raised their hand? Oh, uh, I'm just going to come over because I can't hear you from the way back. Yeah. Oh, same person. First, uh, reflective index. We can find with the refractive index. Uh, refractive index equals to upon sine c. Sine c. The c is uh, refractive or oh, that critical angle. Uh, well, it does have something to do with the refractive in the index of reflection, or ref uh -huh. it does have something to do with the index of refraction. So, I guess we did better than last time. But uh, theta c is equal to the inverse sine of the second medium over the, uh, the the index of refraction of the second medium over the index of refraction of the first medium. You guys get this equation? All right. Oh yeah, I guess that was a thumbs up. All right. So now, does anyone know what that means? Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you a hint. So what is the maximum of this? Well, no. Oh, actually. Yes, uh, x cannot be greater than 1 if you want to plug it in to sine minus 1 of x. So, if n2 my over n1 cannot be greater than 1, has to be less than or equal to 1, what does that mean? What does that mean regarding the index of, refra of reflections of all of these? Index of refractions, sorry. Louder! I heard something. N2 cannot be greater than N1. Good! Good! Finally! A good answer regarding something mathematical.